Hey, it's your filthy casual. I, at some time back in uh, Pasadena, I find, managed to join my friends in something I didn't think I went to, I'd actually go to, and it was uh, YCS Pasadena. And and for the deck you're probably wondering what I brought, uh, Andrew, would, like, would you like to uh, uh, get, let them know what I brought? Altergeist. Oh yeah, it, but it, but it's not. It, but yeah, it's all the guys. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't top as much. But it's all, But if you read the, the name of this video, it's it's called the semi trolley budget variant for a good reason. But without any further ado, I can't believe I'm freaking saying this. Uh, let's just roll into it or whatever. <laughs> so for our start, without any further ado, for for our starting package, we have the party girl. For where whenever you activate a trap. She special summon herself and brings one of her girls. <laughs> we have the party setter to set up your either your protocols or your uh, or or your manifestations. The problem solver <laughs> for a good reason. For hey, like say you have an indestructible monster that can't be destroyed by targets or by a battle. Summon Melisique, attack directly for, and then send your your monster to the graveyard. Next up, we have Cyclotis, daughter of Kieran. <laughs> Pretty much bounce back any altergeist card, and either you can either combo this with with either the the Milliseeks, the Marionetter, the Multi Faker, or better yet, when they try to uh, attempt an attack, the Pony, just to negate their attack and negate their effects. <laughs> Except for our hand traps, we have our cheap budget of uh, inf infinite and permanence. I wish they were infinite permanence, but I didn't have the money for the. For, to buy that in YCS, but however, in terms of ha other hand traps, I managed to get my hand on was a playset of your big forehead babies. <laughs> That's right, I finally managed to get these motherfuckers at a decent price of at least from twenty to forty dollars. <laughs> we have the anti sky striker village to shut sky strikers up, and we have and for most of our draw engine. And for adding stuff from our deck to our hand, uh, as you can imagine, and also guys, some good shit. <laughs> that is literally what they're good for. It doesn't matter when you play at least one pot. Well, I feel I've, it was better when I played one pot, so I don't banish too much of my stuff since I'm literally running at least two sequences. And believe me, it was bad for me when I banished two. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it's good shit. And for our traps, we have per personal spoofing, just to shuffle back and add a new altergeist card. Mostly the party, notably the party girl, our call the haunted, and two of our protocols, just to negate, negate wherever we want, whether it's from the hand, field, or grave. <laughs> for easy access, just to set up our board of going first to shut. To make sure we do have uh, at least the secret village, we have Metaverse. Just because you activate this while you either have no seek, you activate a uh, secret village, what can they do? Like other traps, we run Mind Blown just to see, just to declare cards we we declare from what we bounce off with uh, Sequitus. Well, mostly monsters, just monsters. Uh, the Popo Nope. <laughs> for any spell related related decks that need that are too reliant on spells and for other traps that I'm also that I'm also running the three evenly match managed to get these it was worth the wait it was also fun to play in the main deck too considering that it, it may not be infinite in permanence and I, I write I mostly main deck these if I'm going second I'm like and they set up their board, and I'm like, okay, main phase one, battle phase, end of battle phase, activate this, do you rage quit? <laughs> and lastly, we're not gonna call, from here on out, uh, if you could move the camera up, from here on out, we're not gonna call, if you know the, the certain trap cards, we are not gonna call them the Song Brigade anymore. If you could put it down now, we're gonna call these the Holy Trinity. That's right. We're gonna call them the Holy Trinity now. That that's literally it because it's based on the Father, the the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Trinity. 
Next up. <coughs> Alright. Wait, wait, let me do that. Expect up the extra deck. Holy shit. <laughs> Moving on to our extra deck. For our extra deck, you might as well. For our extra deck, we pretty much just got the Link Karibo, the Claren Ruska. Mostly useless, unless it. Only when they have at least the rivalry of Warlords. Uh, Alter Guys, uh, Prime Banshee. Uh, almost close to useless, but not really. But then again, I rarely summon her. But she she may have a decent event if I want to talk about it. Who knows? Uh, I probably just need to do research more. But I mostly just run at least the playset of the best girl in the deck, Hexia, just because she gets the power boost and she just negates any spells and traps that your opponent tries to throw at you. Uh, for, for other links, we got the the nightmare pack. <laughs> Some ghost sweet. and for our, the rest of our links, we got one of my favorite cards in the deck, Trace Bayna. If you deal enough damage and at least play Mary Netter to set the manifestation and have a good shit, to, good ton of back row in the in the back row, it's your opponent's turn during standby phase. Activate uh, manifestation. Spell summon the monster where to where it points to. Its effect triggers. GG. <laughs> For, for our other part, cards in our extra deck, which uh, has uh, Ghost, Ghost Reaper targets, which you'll probably see in the extra deck, it has uh, Sky Striker Ace, uh, Ca Career Attack Fortress Dragon, just because my friend was running Cyber Dragons, and I would hate to see what happens if I go up against him. Uh, Dante, just for the Burning Abyss, and uh, Totally Awesome for the Paleo. Lastly, my, my boy for for si for side dance when I sign in the Waken the Dragon, the Ultimate Falcon, <laughs> because what you gonna do now? That that you that I don't think I've seen anybody play Kaijus these days. Well, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe Kaijus will come back. But until there is, he he's he's back on the throne, boys. He is back and he's gonna stay for a pretty good time until who knows if someone runs with Kaijus. <laughs> Next up. Uh, lastly, for our side deck, we pretty much just have the Border Patrol, useful against mirror matches, and uh, and some other decks like Dangers. Uh, pretty much the, for our hand shops, we got, got the Ghost Reaper targets, the Exorcist Children, <laughs> just because they, in case they activate something on the field, I can use this to, to at least get rid of the problem. For even more problem solvers, we have the Pink Ceratops. So just because they special summon itself, and then they then then during either player's turn, they can tribute themselves to take their car take that take down the, any unwanted cards. So think of it as like a suplex thing. <laughs> or a seismic toss from Pokemon. <laughs> For the remainder of our traps we got the heavy storm duster in case uh, in case we go do actually do go up against the mirror match or maybe Paleo. Uh Waking the Dragon in case they side in the Heavy Storm Duster against us. And something I thought it would be fun, just in case they actually do end if if you alter if any alter guys state player ha has been thinking of siding in, just to be crazy and just for laughs, Red Reboot. Because it's just fun to play the Red Reboot game. If they activate Red Reboot game Red Reboot, you activate your Red Reboot. It just goes on from there. Who knows how it'll turn out. It's risky, but it's fun. But anyway, this has been uh, my Alter Guy step profile that I brought to uh, YCS. It may have not have top, but uh, it's still fun to play. <laughs> and uh, and I hope you ch check out our video. Well, don't forget to check out our videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Until then, see you next time.